Well, we're here, little Chewy. We're going to do a little work with Chewy. We're going to introduce Chewy to the saddle today. And before we do, of course, we revisit all of our little groundwork. And we check to see if they'll move their hip with our eyes without getting after them hard. If they can focus and if they can uh, move this hip with their car eyes. If they can go to the left with a little bit of instruction. If they can go to the right with a little instruction. And if they can disengage your hip with a little bit of eye motion. They can kind of tolerate a little outside stimulus. Take a little bit of this. Good boy. If he can flex his neck nice and soft. I'll just kind of set that belly rope under him there. Kind of see if we've been doing a little bit of this. Just kind of getting him a little bit prepared here. And I'm kind of feel it back here in his little flank area. Good. So another thing we like to do here is kind of make sure that we've got our horse desensitized best we can, kind of get it ready for some of that additional stimulus we're going to throw up on it. Because here in a moment we're going to start putting the saddle pad on him for the, his very first time. We're going to strap a saddle to his back. We also want him to understand he should move off with a little driving motion from the flag here. We should be able to, and then if he sees a little desensitizing motion, he should move his hip away and park. And if he sees me drive him this way, he should move off this way. And if I, there we go. And why is this important? Because if I saddled him up and he came running at me for security, I want to be able to drive him away from me here, see. I want him to move off. So if he came, woo, get strikey. So if he came running at me, I'd want to be able to send him away from me. That's one thing I like to do with that flag is just kind of just protect himself. Here. So he got himself a little bit worried because I kind of came up close to him. So we're going to start to introduce some bigger things to him. I've never reached up and touched him or rubbed him with this tarp, but everything we've done with him so far, we've never done anything to get him hurt or scared. I just wanted to trust and believe in the things I bring to him. See it coming, touch him, rub him. Let him feel it coming down the backside here a little bit. Give myself a grip like so. There we go. There we go. Now I can start to feel things bouncing around up on his back here. Caution yourself, you don't let too much stick out his off eye there. Don't go over his back too far. All right, now right here, you can't start a colt without one of these really high quality Jim Anderson uh, colt starting pads. This is a friend from my gift and multi-world champion, Jim Anderson off of his famous world champion uh, horse, Maryland. So we're gonna go ahead and introduce the pad to the colt here. I might come up here and just kind of pat him like this. Let him feel. Things are going to flop up on his back there. There we go. There we go. There you go. Here, I might grab him by the cheek in case he wanted to kind of run off on me. I'll just kind of rub him here. I'm going to let him kind of feel it go up on his back there a couple times. There. There we go. There. I'll just flop it up here like I own him now. There you go. Let him feel it sliding and going off his backside just in case he took off and he felt this happen. This wouldn't spook him his very first time, would it? There you go. Let's see if he'll take a little walk with the pad on his back here. Very good. I'll cheek him here, reach across. There. So right here, I'll just let him come up and explore this saddle. There we go. Let him solve his own curiosity about it. Sniff it. See, there's nothing here to hurt him. 
let him wrap his mind around it. Kind of bring it up here. Make sure I have a, a grip on my rope. And then for me, I'll just let him see it coming. Just heave it on up there. And then take it on down. Bring the pad with me. Fling the pad up there. Let him see that saddle coming. Just let him know it's coming. Just heave it on up there like you own him. Let those things kind of slap down on that offside there a little bit. Good boy. Love on him for a second. Take everything down. Just heave it on up there, the pad. Make sure it's straight. And just throw this on up there like you own him. There, good boy. And right about here, where the rubber hits the road, guys. You want to let him feel that cinch come up a couple times. Start to feed it on through with the latigo. Take yourself a couple of wraps. Get yourself ready. Because here in a moment, you're going to be committed. I like to lift up and pull down. I like to lift up and pull down. And I take it to a point of secure. Make sure I latch it off as soon as I can. I'll love on him here. Good. I'll secure this so he doesn't step on it. And I'll just kind of shake it around a little bit. First thing I'm going to do here is ask him to move his hip. He's got to, he has to remember his little lessons, even though he's, even though he's packing a saddle for the very first time. Move your hip. There you go. Move your hip. Very good. And go ahead and move this hip. And back yourself up. Good. One reason I love to back a, a colt up is when he backs up, he has to kind of arc his back up and swell himself up against that cinch. And It'd be about the first time he felt it get really tight on him. I asked for his hip. I ask him to back. Nice. Nice. And back. There you go. And back. I'll just go see if I can't just send him off a little. If he wants to be real, real quiet here, I just love that. Just kind of hurt him along with the flag. See if he remembers how to disengage his hip. Ask for it. Keep yourself quiet. Here, here. If he starts to get himself excited, help him out. Just re remind him, remind him. So if he gets excited, I just ask him to disengage his hip with a little desensitizing motion down low here. And re there, there. Just remind him, I want him to be quiet and seeking quietness. Good. I don't want him reacting, I want him responding. Little hip there, please. Very good. I'll come in here and flex you once. Remind you, you gotta, you still gotta give your face to me when I ask for it. Move off a little, please. Keep going. Very good. Just try to capture their heart, their mind, and their soul right now. Here, what's this? And what's this? There you go. <laughs> Keep moving along. Remind him of what this means. Good boy. Let him feel a little shaking around. Go ahead and send him on out. Pick up the pace. And then just slow him on down. Good. A little transition up. And slow him down. Good. A little direction change, please. And if he takes off, if he takes there, I let him kind of fix himself. I try to give my colt three strides to fix themselves, and he did it. Pick yourself up. And slow yourself down. Slow yourself down. Slow yourself down. 
walkie walkie. They didn't park for walking. Here. There you go. Very good. Very good. And park yourself. Good. I don't want him thinking he's supposed to trot off with his hair on fire just because he's been asked to move. There. I wanted to respond with the amount of energy sent to him. Easy. There you go. And now pick up the pace. And now slow yourself down. Nice. Nice. Here's Park. That's for doing the right thing there, boy. Good boy. Again, we'll flex him, remind him. He's got to stay soft in our hand at all times. Good boy. He's got a little fear in there, doesn't he? See? So we could really screw a young horse up here by doing too much, too long, too soon. Personally, I like to stow away all my gear before I pull a saddle off. I want to remind him he's supposed to stand here and wait for instruction. And then kind of let him know you're about to do it and then just pull it all off and tell him how smart he is. Thanks for being here for that, McKenna.